The Tisan Museum's itinerary now leads you down to the first floor, which is dedicated to 18th and 19th century painting. Start with the works of Goya. Move on to see works by the German Romantic landscape painter Caspar David Frédéric and the French artist De La Crua and Courbet. And you'll soon reach one of the most crowded parts of the museum, that of the Parisian Impressionists. It includes the exquisite Woman with an Umbrella by Renoir, the unmistakable Ballerina Catching Her Balance by Degas, the delicate Girl in the Mirror by the sensitive painter Berth Morissot, I'd also like to point out the refined aristocratic horsewoman by Edouard Manette. From Van Gogh to Toulouse-Lautrec, from Gauguin to Cézanne, all the protagonists of late 19th century French painting are represented here with important works and set the stage for the avant-garde movement, an extraordinary selection of works from the German art movements just before World War I reminds you of the Tissan family's origins. Now pause the audio and go down to the ground floor. On the ground floor, you'll now find yourself in the middle of the 20th century, including Picasso's Harlequin, which is one of the museum's most reproduced paintings in its merchandising, as well as Klee, Chagall, Marguerite, and Kandinsky. Try not to get torn to pieces by surrealist Salvador Dali's work entitled Dream Caused by the Flight of a Bee Around a Pomegranate a Second Before Awakening, which shows two tigers leaping toward the viewer. With their impressive statements, the works of the German expressionists such as Graus, Dieks, and Schad will remain impressed in your mind, as well as the notable Russian avant-garde paintings. The selection of works by American masters is extraordinary and has very few equals in Europe, from the images with an almost cinematic realism by Hopper to the abstract expressionism of Pollock, up to the compelling products of pop art. And if you're curious to see what the museum's founder looked like, you can see Hans Thiessen's portrait here, energetically painted by Lucien Freud. Fun Fact Among the many works by American painters in the Thiessen collection, a nice surprise is the portrait of the White House chef from when George Washington was president. Almost a century before Lincoln and the American Civil War banning slavery, the portrait is dedicated to a black man. And with this, we have finished our tour of the Tisan Museum in Madrid. My Wowo thanks you for staying with us, and we'll see you at the next Wonder of the World.